The other thing that I really want to stress is that James is only holding one device, which means that this, like the NV32H, is a software-enabled device, which means you can change it into an encoder or a decoder depending on what you need it to do. Mm. Uh, hopefully what this does for people that are specking it means that you only have to keep track of one SKU. It also means that if there's a change order somewhere along the process and you needed to change this from an encoder to a decoder, you could absolutely do so. And in fact, let's talk a little bit about the nuances of that encoder decoder mode and the trade-offs that you make when you enable one or the other. Yeah, absolutely, because this is likely to be used in many other spaces aside from collaboration, right? So the thing is we have encode mode and we have decode mode, and within that we also have HDMI mode and USB mode. And really what that determines is the video input source that you're going to either encode or you're going to send to your local confidence monitor. So in encoder mode, this is going to decide whether USB or HDMI is going off to the network. And just like the MV32, you can have a local confidence monitor on that HDMI output. Okay, So it doesn't matter if we're in USB or HDMI mode for the content. We can do bridging in either of those modes, whether it's an encoder or a decoder. And if we look here at being in the decode mode, the uh, HDMI mode will mean that you have your local HDMI able to go to your local HDMI output, and USB mode means that USB will go to the HDMI output. And of course, in, in decode mode, you can always take from the network as well.